Normally, most uh, times when you're doing a worsted spin, people hold their hand like this, with the palm up, and the um, maintaining the, the tension on the draft and the spin with their thumb and forefinger. So it looks kind of like this. You're sliding back. You're dra you're drafting out a little bit. You're not letting this, the twist get back into your fiber. But I watched this uh, terrific class with David Keller, and he spins like this. And the way he explained it, so your palm is down, you're still controlling the tension of your draft a little bit with your thumb and forefinger, but I find that I'm controlling the tension more with my ring finger or my pinky. Okay. The idea is that this is, uh, there are a bunch of different reasons to do it this way, but the first reason that he gave is that it's more ergonomic, so that you're not, if you have hand or wrist injuries or strain, this doesn't put as much strain on your hand for the drafting. But the other reason to do it uh, that he talked about is that you get a more consistent yarn. And I've, I've been spinning, I've got about two ounces on here, this is the other two ounces. And I found that this is a much more consistent yarn. Not only more consistent for me, but if you do the plyback test, um, I find that it's a little bit of a softer yarn for me. It's a little less, it's much more consistent, and it's a little bit more, um, it's a little softer. The plyback itself is a little bit softer. So I find that it's got a little more spring, it's got a little more air, it's more consistent. So adapting to this, this method took a little bit of work. So going from this to this, you have to kind of get used to uh, the way that the draft feels through your fingers. But I find that I can control it better and I find that it's kind of a um, uh, somewhere between a worsted and a woolen because I'm controlling most of the spin with my ring finger, which leaves these fingers much more free to feel the draft a little bit better. So I can feel how much I'm drafting, and if it gets thin or thick, I have longer to adjust to it and fix it before it ends up on the bobbin. So as a technique, I really, really dig it. And I don't know that I'd go back to spinning the other way. I have to get used to doing my joins, because I still want to do my joins this way. So I feel more comfortable with it, but I'll get there. So I'd recommend it. And he uses his pinky. Uh, I like to do my ring finger. I think it's up to the spinner. One of the ways he explained this particular hand position is that if you're spinning on a drop spindle, right, you have your, you'd have your uh, fiber up here. You're kind of rolling your spindle on your leg or you're dropping it. And you would be holding your hand like this. So if you transition to a wheel where you're going forward, it makes sense to hold your hands in the same position. You don't do drop spindling like this, for instance. <laughs> I've tried it, it doesn't work. <laughs> so uh, this is a more natural position for, for beginning spinners to start in as well. So I, I recommend it. I haven't seen many other people spin like this. Um, and I've been around a lot of people in my guild and seen a lot online, but this, I have to say, it's a great technique.